All right. Welcome back, everyone. Dr. Ben, not a real doctor here. And today I'm gonna to be giving you a simple workout for shoulder stability and scapular mobility. I'm gonna be using my power rack just for my convenience, but you don't have to use anything this fancy. You can find whatever you need around your house most likely. We're gonna focus a little bit on stretching first, and then we're gonna move into some scapular movements to help stabilize your shoulder and unstick those scapula, your shoulder blades, so you have more shoulder range of motion. Let's get to it. Okay, we're gonna start with an active lat stretch. I like to use something that's a little bit elevated like a bench or a table so I can get a little extra range of motion. You can just do this on the floor, but I feel like I don't get as good of a stretch. So like I said, this is gonna be an active stretch. So we're gonna set up here with our hands near the edge of whatever uh, surface we're using. And what you're gonna do is keep your core nice and tight, put your hands on your surface, and you're going to apply a little bit of pressure down onto the surface. And then all you're gonna do is keep your shoulders set so don't let them come up and roll around nice and tight. Roll back and down. And then you're just going to sit your butt back. And you'll feel a pretty good stretch going on behind your shoulder, most likely. You may feel it somewhere different, but you're probably gonna feel it in, you know, in the back of your shoulder going down your back. So again, Hands on the edge, push your hands down into the surface, set your shoulder, tighten your core, and shift your hips back. The harder you push into the surface, the more intense the stretch is gonna be. This is an active stretch, so it's gonna feel less like a stretch and more like a contraction. 10 reps of these, if you haven't done this before, Start with very light pressure on the surface. If you go as hard as you can and you go 10 reps of these, you're probably gonna be really sore the next day. So one more time. Hands on the edge of the surface, set shoulders, tighten core, light pressure into the surface, shift your hips back. Nice work. After that, let's move into the exercises. Okay, we're gonna do some scapular pull-ups. All you need is a bar you can hang from, or anything you can hang from. I'm gonna demo the exercise. We're gonna do 10 reps of these. Grab your bar and hang. Let everything relax so you're hanging straight down. And then without using your arms, all you're gonna do is pull your shoulder blades down. At the top, hold it for just a second, and then lower yourself in a controlled manner to the bottom. Good, and when you do this, try not to rotate your chest up. Try and pull straight down. And from behind, so you can see what I'm doing. Good, 10 reps. Next is scapular dips. Again, 10 reps, okay? Any horizontal surface or work, you don't have to use a dip bar. You can even use a table or like a countertop. I do that upstairs in my apartment all the time. Very similar to the scapular pull-up, but working in the opposite direction. So you're going to get up into position and you're going to relax down. Now again, we're not gonna use our arms. We're just going to push our shoulder blades down. No arm just shoulder blades. And again, controlling all the way down. Ten reps. Let's keep it rolling. On to scapular push-ups. This is gonna be like a push-up without using your arms. So, get into a push-up position. If you need to, you can put your knees on the ground to make this a little easier. Okay? Get into your push-up position. Get your head set good. And what you're gonna do is let your chest drop without bending your arms. 
and then you're just going to push your arms away from the floor. You may feel a slight stretch across your chest if you're really tight. You may also feel a stretch along the back between your shoulder blades if you're tight there. One more time. Good position. Relax your chest down. Push your chest away. Try not to use your arms. 10 reps again. All right, so we got the push-ups. Let's not forget the rows. All you need is a vertical bar to hold on to. If you're really strong at this, the more parallel to the ground your body is, the harder this is gonna be. So we're gonna do this fairly simple. Grasp something in front of you, and then squat down just a little bit, okay? Get in a good body position, set your core, and let your shoulders relax forward. Now again, without using your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hold it for just a second and then relax back nice and controlled. When you do these, think extra hard about your headset. Don't let your head slouch forward. Make the muscles on the back of your neck hold your posture through the whole range of motion too. Ten reps on that one too. We're gonna finish up with overhead scapular push-ups. Now you can control how difficult this one is by how high your feet are from the ground. I'm gonna put my feet up on this bench back here just so I can get a little bit more work. But if this is hard for you, just leave your feet on the ground. Okay, so hands down in front of you like you're gonna do a push-up. Get your feet behind you. I'm gonna put them up on this bench and then you're gonna go basically inverted. And then all you're gonna do is just like we've been doing, you're going to not use your arms and push your arms away from you. So, and just like every rep, slow and controlled and pause when your shoulders are pushed up towards your ears. reps on that one too. So there you go. Simple shoulder stabilization and scapular mobility workout. So one more time, that whole workout is 10 active lat stretches, 10 scapular pull-ups, 10 scapular dips, 10 scapular push-ups, 10 scapular rows, and 10 overhead scapular push-ups. Go through the first time, one time straight through. After the first week, you know, you can do this, this workout every single day to build up some, some resilience in your shoulders. So after your first week, do two sets of 10 of the lat stretch, and then go through the whole circuit of each exercise, 10 reps each exercise, twice. So do each exercise 10 reps, go back to the first exercise, do each exercise again for 10 reps. The third week, do three sets of the lat stretch, and then go three cycles through all the scapula exercises. And then just continue with that. You can go to more of a maintenance program and do it once every few days. But this will really help build up a lot of stability and resilience in your shoulder joints and help you move forward into more complicated exercises and reduce your risk of injury when you're doing more complicated stuff or just in day-to-day -day life. If you got something out of this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, give it a like. If you know somebody with shoulder issues that you think this would help, please share it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Until next time, keep your life in motion.